Tonight, a family demanding justice after their loved one was shot and killed during an altercation with the LAPD. Now they want criminal charges filed against the two officers. KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen explains tonight. Justice for Takar. Justice for Takar. Justice for Takar. 11 months after Takar Smith's death, his family is now demanding justice against the officers who took his life. We need action and consequences. Rashar Smith says the officers who killed his brother should be charged with the crime after LAPD's Civilian Police Commission ruling they violated department rules on lethal force. He was at home when this happened. He was not doing no crimes. Police in the Rampart area were responding to a call from Smith's wife that he violated a restraining order. Body camera video shows Smith, who suffered from schizophrenia, barricading himself inside the small kitchen. Officers say they tried to de-escalate the situation, but Smith took out a large knife. They ordered him to drop it, but still shot and killed him. He was a father, a brother, a cousin, an uncle. A grandfather, he was shot in cold blood and they could have went on that a different way. The police commission can only make recommendations to LAPD on what punishment, if any, the officers should face. Any criminal charges would come from the district attorney. The DA's office saying it's waiting on LAPD's investigative report, saying in a statement, upon receipt of all investigative materials, our office will determine whether or not the officers acted lawfully. Smith's family says charges would send a strong message to law enforcement thinking about violating department policies on lethal force. They also want to see officers better trained to handle people suffering from mental illness. We know they're guilty and we're going to find them guilty and anybody that don't agree with it, then my brother's blood on your hands too. We reached out to LAPD as to when they'll be sending over their investigative report to the DA's office, but haven't heard back yet. As for the Smith's family's wrongful death lawsuit against the city filed in July, that is still pending. Reporting in downtown Los Angeles, Lauren Posen, KCAL News.